to seek shelter from the tropical storm Arthur. We ended up on Acklin Island, a true postcard paradise. Hello! <laughs> we ended up in Bahamas. I just love it that we ended up here because I really wanted to visit Bahamas and here we um, are stranded because of a tropical low pressure uh, and it, we went to, we just arrived to paradise you know the beaches around us is crystal clear and uh, uh, the water is full of uh, rays, sharks and conchs <laughs> And uh, today we met Fidel and Erika. They have a restaurant here on the beach. Uh, unfortunately, it's closed, but they were there just chilling on a Sunday afternoon. And they showed us how to uh, to open the conch up and get out the snail, or whatever you call it, the conch. <laughs> Erika gave me a recipe, as she used to do, and I think it's similar to a ceviche because it's um, lime in it and so on. And this is the conch. You see, it's like a big mussel. Mm. Yeah. So Erika gave me a recipe, and it's um, similar to ceviche, which is our favorite. So. Um, we're going to try that. Uh, so now I'm going to chop this in small, small pieces and press some lime on it and put it in the refrigerator while I'm cutting all the vegetables. We have lime, apple, onion, some pepper and ginger. So we do a crossover. She didn't mention ginger, but I love it, as you know. Fidel gave us coconuts. The coconut water was sweet and the meat was soft and juicy. So what are you doing? Um, first of all, I'm just uh, looking out after those two big lobsters that and then Paul found a conch for me and I really want to have a conch to blow in okay so now he had the taking a saw and cut it up and we thought that we were going to catch the <laughs> the little conch who's inside here but he's so afraid of me right now he's far away in so I just decided to put this in water and let him relax a little bit and then maybe he just go out by himself <laughs> I don't know poor little thing <laughs> I'm a murderer. once again we set sail towards the US but after just 12 hours of sailing the wind died and we made another stop in the Bahamas <laughs> Enjoying beach life. <laughs> yeah, Bahamas, uh, little San Salvador, El Salvador, is the name of this island, uh, and uh, we are walking on a beach. <laughs> That's exciting. And all the way at the end of the beach over there is Svea. Yeah. So this is a private island. Yeah. From, uh, no, it's a it's cruising a, company. Yeah. So they come here with their cruising boats. So behind us, you can see the 
all the bars and the uh, beach huts. Yeah, it's very nice down. But we are the only one on the island. Uh, well, at least the only boat on the island. And uh, it's super clear water. We've been diving, we have some reefs close to the boat. Yeah. And uh, barracuda, <laughs> which followed You're me. A new friend. <laughs> yeah, it followed me like 10 minutes. I swam in circles, I swam fast, I swam slow. It was like three meters behind me all the time. I saw very nasty teeth. Not a nice experience. And now it's under the boat. <laughs> it's so strange. Circling the boat. Hoping that Paul is going down the water again and swim with him. Yeah. <laughs> so this so this is uh, hopefully the final stop um, before we leave for uh, Brunswick in Georgia. Uh, yeah. We have uh, a little bit less than 500 nautical miles to go there. Yeah, hopefully we start tomorrow morning. Yeah, because as you can see there's not much wind now. So we just we stopped here because we, uh, we were waiting for the wind to yeah. pick up. And then now we have the forecast is tomorrow night it will start from yeah. the east. And we have uh, 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 like 10, 15 knots easterly winds. So that's uh, that's pleasant sailing. Yes. going to end my uh, night shift. Uh, I went on at four o'clock this morning and it was totally dark and we were still in the Bahamas. But now we turned uh, 340 degrees north um, going to Brunswick, Georgia. Um, we have an uh, average wind of uh, around 11 knots and uh, the conditions is really good. It's smooth and comfortable sailing, I think. Um, yeah, and guess what? We just entered the Gulf Stream. Uh, so now we are getting an extra kickback of speed of three knots. So that's really nice. Finally, we reach the US mainland. During the past three weeks, we have sailed 1800 nautical miles. Now we're looking forward to a slower vacation-like pace. Follow our journey in the land where everything is possible and big. See you next week and don't forget to like us.